back live here at the WDSC WRPT Media Lounge at the Catalyst Content Festival in Duluth. And I'm Kathy Worzer. You know, we have met so many wonderful content creators during the course of the festival. Right now, kind of a, a hometown, home-based writer, Jean Schrammick is with us. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Or whatever it is. Whatever. Here at Catalyst, the time, time just means nothing. nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> Your script, Butterhead, was selected to be read here at Catalyst. Is Correct. that the right terminology? Um, there's a, um, one of the categories for Catalyst is a script competition. So most of the things you're going to see in the screenings are finished products or things in development. Um, but there's also a category for scripts. And so that's, that's the category mine was selected for. Congratulations. Thank you. What does it mean to be selected for a festival like this? Um, it's, it, it's really amazing how many people you can meet and um, what kind of connections you can make. And um, seeing the content that other people have created is, is just fantastic, just getting to share all that. So when you had your uh, script read yesterday, mm -hmm. which was, would have been Friday, Yes. Um, it's, it's Butterhead, so we should probably tell people what, just, just give me a thumbnail of what the script's all about. Um, it's set at the Minnesota State Fair. It is a dark comedy um, about someone who really wants to be Princess Kay of the Milky Way, but is not qualified and ends up cutting some corners. <laughs> I can only imagine. And gets someone involved who may or may not be Satan, and there's a dog, and yeah. Yeah. So hilarity ensues. Just the perfect Minnesota kind of, of a Minnesota themed uh, play. Of course, but, um, but the Princess K, uh, they're known as butterheads because their likenesses are carved in butter. Correct. So, so when uh, that little factoid was rolled out yesterday, what did our uh, friends from other parts of the country say? <laughs> I think that, of course, everyone in Minnesota knew what, what I was talking about, but there are other state fairs. You know, and the dairy industry is not unique to Minnesota. I, I know that there's a similar competition in Wisconsin and, and um, probably in other, um, other fairs, um, you know, like it. No, we should say you're, you've been a playwright most of your career. Yes. So this, the screenwriting part of this is a little bit different for you. Yes. What's that like? You need to, um, when you make the transition from writing for the stage, to writing for the screen, you have to think differently. You have to learn to think visually, which is not to say that you're not thinking about um, how everything is going to look on stage, um, but you're more focused on um, filling time and filling space and making sure there aren't any gaps. But when you're writing something um, for the screen, um, you need to put all that into narrative description. You need to visualize it on your own and, um, and, and the pace is different and you don't, um, you know, you just have, you, you just have more time to, um, I guess, create your, uh, your images. Are you a visual person? I never thought that I was, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm the kind of person who, when someone says, what color was that or how tall was that person? I'm like, I don't know. But I can remember, you know, dates, names, birthdays. Right. Lines so, of dialogue, so this entire is different songs. For you. Oh, very yeah. different. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Right. So um, the reaction, what did you, how did you feel it went yesterday? I thought it went great. And that is, I have to give a lot of credit to the local actors who read my script. They were fantastic. They did a great job. And it was such a joy to be able to um, think, uh, you know, we have so many great, we have so much talent in this town and so many great people doing lots of different kinds of theater. And, um, and I was able to just you know, call them up and say, hey, do you wanna, I've got a little part that might be fun. It might be the most fun 10 minutes of your weekend. You know? so, um, so I was able to get some great actors to really bring it, bring it to life. Are you hoping, I presume, uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're hoping that this gets picked up as a series, perhaps? At that would be Netflix great. Series or do you have what? What's the goal here? Um, you know, when you write something, when you write anything, whether it's for the stage or whether it's, you know, any kind of narrative, what you want is for people to see it. Sure. Um, that's that's the point. Um, so I would like it to be. Um, I originally intended it as a short film, 
Um, I can also, and now, you know, since getting into this festival and meeting, you know, and getting to go all to these panels and, and speak to people, I can see it as a, a much longer, um, you know, a longer format series. Um, because what you're creating is a world. You know, you're not creating, I mean, it's great to create one, uh, you know, something that begins and ends and that's it. And of course, in the theater, we're very used to that because when something ends, it ends and that's it. Um, but what you're really creating is a world. Um, and so the things that happen within that world, you know, whether it's backstories or, um, you know, side stories or whatever, they're, as long as they're true to that world, I think it's, it's, it's really exciting and could, could go anywhere, really. I was just thinking, um, obviously I'm familiar with the whole State Fair <laughs> world. You and NPR people are I very know familiar it, right? with exactly. the State Fair. But, you know, thinking about a series, uh, FX, the Fargo FX series came Yes, to which mind. is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And there's that little bit of dark comedy there, too, in a yeah. sense. And I thought, you know, that could be a, a, a venue for something like this. It could be kind of an interesting yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a... It, it depends a, on who was in the audience of yesterday. Course, of who course. Who was listening to you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah did, did anyone come up afterward and say, I'm um, from... And no, you know the the readings are not they're they're part of the competition, but then of course the 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 whole script is judged, not just the. Um, a lot of people I knew came up and said, "Great job," <laughs> which is good. That's positive. Which is great, and yeah, actually, um, 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 I I took a, sc a screenwriting class at Film North in St. Paul a couple of years ago, and that's where I started working on this script. And the instructor for the class, David Grant, happened to be in the audience, which was really special. So what do you think of Catalyst here in Duluth? I think it's fantastic. And um, I think it's, it's just such a great opportunity for this town. I know that um, Philip has been talking about um, choosing the journey they took, choosing this, um, this town for, um, for Catalyst. And you know, all the, all the great things that we have to offer. And I think he's spot on. And I think this is a, a, a great match. I'm loving the energy here in Duluth. Yes. Yeah. I wish you all the best, Jean. Thank I'm, you. I'm going to be curious to see. I'll, I'll be, we'll be here at, there at the awards ceremony uh -huh. on Sunday. It'll be great to see if you win. Even if you, don't, even if you don't, I mean, you really have made great inroads with this. Yes, absolutely. Here at the festival. It's, it's been an honor. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have been talking to Jean Schrammick, Duluth-based writer, and of course her, um, her whole project is called Butterhead, and she's in the script competition here at Catalyst. There is much, much more to come here at the WDSEWRPT Media Lounge at the Catalyst Content Festival. I'm Kathy Werzer. Stick around.